No, mm-hmm. uh, so last one. I, I got to ask you this one. We got Paul Thompson, former OU quarterback, here on the show. But me and a buddy has been talking about this last few days. Well, actually, the last two weeks. Uh, that 2003 season was probably Bob Stoops' greatest team, one of the greatest teams in college football history that just did not win the championship. And as we talked about earlier, you had the K-State Big 12 championship game, which to me was so fluky, while at the same time, it's Bill Snyder, who knew Bob Stoops very well, and it kind of made sense of you know the way it ended. Mm-hmm. But you had that one game in there that was probably the funnest game you'd ever played in your life. Against Texas A and M, told you to uh, laugh as soon as I mentioned it. Yeah. You were out there because you scored how many? What two? Or, you scored what three touchdowns in that game? Two pass one. Yeah, run? so I know there was a defensive. I think uh, Derek Strait had a defense, but it was forty nine zero, and I came in the second half and played the played the second half, and so you know from forty nine to seventy seven was uh was you know was was us. Um, again, I think there was a defensive touchdown in there as well but um but yeah i had i think i, I had two rushing touchdowns i know and then yep. uh, what a lot of people forget is you know it was it was 77 0 in the third quarter like yep. this, this wasn't guilt <laughs> wasn't the end of the game i mean this was the third quarter so i'm telling dante nicholson um or dante hickson sorry i'm telling dante hickson to, you know don't score and we're in the third quarter right so we're in goal we're we're, in, we're, we're you know we're on i don't know the 10 the nine somewhere in there and uh coach Stoops sends the play in and he's like yo tell tell Dante don't score I'm like wow this is wild right you know we're the third quarter and um and sure enough I told him and a lot of people will still remember that play because Johnny Jolly um for A&M comes through makes a tackle on Dante and uh like gets up and just does this dance right and then you can see me, if you watch the video, you can see me go go run up to him and I'm just barking at him like, you know, scoreboard this and what the hell, you know, you're getting smashed right now. Why are you doing this belly dance? And I go, I, I go, we told him not to score. Right. And so and it's funny because Johnny Jolly was I was he went to Green Bay. I was in Green Bay briefly. So we kind of joked about that a little bit um, that game. But, you know, that was revenge. Right. Because the previous year, oh, two. Us at a and right? They kind of spoiled Reggie McNeil, spoiled our national championship hopes that year. Sure did, right. yes. Right. Reggie McNeil, true freshman, just like I was. He came out the same year out of Lufkin. Um, straight lit us up. And um, and uh, and they got us, right? So they, they knocked us off um, that year. Uh, and that really derailed us as far as the national championship picture. Still won the Big 12 championship, made it to the Rose Bowl. But um, but that A&M game the previous year really uh, really knocked us off course a little bit um, there. So it was it was nice to handle them the way we did when they came to our house. Yeah, and then you had the Rashawn Woods game. And that that that, that uh, if I'm correct, that was the yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't, yeah, right. wasn't that the, the big-time catches and – because after getting thrown off from A and M, then well, yeah. So, well, so Rashawn Woods was O one in the corner yep. of the end zone at OU because um, that was before I was there. And then yeah, so then we played at O State and lost to him again. Back to back years, we lost to him um, in O two. Um, yeah. As well. Yeah. Woo. Woo, that was that was the 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 excitement for Gundy while everybody's gonna make it seem like he needed to definitely that was definitely his job at that point. He secured his lifetime job <laughs> those two years in a row. But yeah. uh no, I, I I from that A and M game, it was the fascinating thing was is like you said, going into the third quarter, it was you know forty nine oh and everybody's like, Okay, don't score, we're not gonna blow this up. But when you just started rattling off points and the goal was like it was like okay they could go for 100 what stopped bob from letting y'all go for 100 points i don't know i don't know <laughs> no. especially like you know at least give us the whole third quarter to go full speed right um or maybe right. even through, through the fourth especially because we got a lot of young guys out there that's, that's getting reps right i'm on tv i'm on abc mama and mama's watching at home you know and so uh i want to show out and uh, and so he called off the dogs though third quarter, and then you know fourth quarter came. The clock just ran, and so uh, the fourth quarter was quick. But uh, 
but yeah, man, it was just everything just went our way. Um, I'd have to look back. I don't know if there were, I don't know if we had any punts. Um, it seemed like every play um, or every drive ended up in seven points. And so, uh, you know, we probably had some punts later on in the fourth quarter or something like that. But everything worked. Like I said, we had some, I think, a defensive score by uh, maybe D straight, um, a strip fumble. Um, yeah, yeah, straight. Got that fumble. The last touchdown that led him made it 77 to nothing was the yeah. D straight fumble recovery. And he ran it in. It was like, wow, did, did Oklahoma <laughs> even – wow. Right. And so they just – the A&M just laid down. I mean, it was, it was, it was too easy at that point. And for those that are curious, yes, there was one punt the entire game for the Sooners, and a and well, punted 12 times in that game. <laughs> Their punter had 421 yards punting. Uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> that's embarrassment. That's embarrassment. But that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, but that will wrap things up. Paul, thank you so much for pulling up. We've got former OU quarterback Paul Thompson joining the show. Man, I appreciate you taking some time to join us and talk, talking some ball. 